I got a fever. The only prescription is more soon arising. Boomer meme reference for a boomer video about a boomer program called Thunar. Um, let's see. This is the last video, Thunar 6.4, um, where we created the, or finished this launch FM script so we could open Thunars in the right window and so on. Uh, let's start our Thunar IPC start here, but first we can open a Thunar window and maybe close this blinking text, open Sublime, see where we are at. Because I haven't really planned this video, I, I hinted about it in the last one that uh, I would like to fix some, some annoyances. One is, if I open a directory, well now it looks good for some reason. Sometimes these, uh, well it's not perfect, you, you see the columns here are weird. Um, and I would like to fix that. Another thing I would like to fix is, is to add the uh, sort rules. So right now we just set icon or list view. Uh, in, in my old setup I had so I could set the uh, sort by time or name and ascending, descending. That's also something I really would like to add here because it's really annoying to, to have to manually switch uh, sorting mode and stuff here all the time. So yeah, I, I, I think those two things. Let's uh, see our note file here. Fix things in Thunar uh, columns sort order rules. And we'll see how long this takes. Uh, I haven't prepared this video at all here and uh, see how far we get. I think we, we, we can start with the columns here. First, uh, let's see, let's bring up the menu here also. Don't know if I right click a column, no, nothing happens. I don't know if I can, no, you, you see, it's such a bad uh, UI here. You can't even, you, you can change the the size of the columns, but you cannot move the columns here. Well, no, no. View configure columns. Okay. Let's also make the window a little bit bigger there. What columns do we have here? Name. That that that's kind of a given. Of course, we want the name column. Size. Yeah. It, it can be good. This column, by on the other hand, I really don't uh, like telling me that it's a folder. I, I, I kind of know that. And it's not a folder, it's a directory thunar. It's not called folders. So type bye bye. Date modified. Uh, I think this is uh, almost as important as size. It's more important than, than or as name. It's m and then the other things here, no. So I will move this here also now. So we have modified next to our name column. Ah, here, I guess this is important setting. Automatically expand columns as needed. That's why we got that weird, because look at the type here. This is, when, when it's a sim link, uh, then the type column what, uh, contains the full path to that sim link. That's why that type column sometimes is really, really long. And when you have this automatically expand as needed, let's remove that and remove the, the type column again. And then close this. So now we have the order and the, the names of the columns that, that we are interested in. Um, I guess we should, should do this. And we can also see here in the Thunar XML file in inside uh, .config slash Thunar. Th this is like Thunar's settings, you know, uh, which we have experimented a bit with, with a uh, uh, view, if, if we want details or icon view and stuff. But here uh, also column information is stored here. You can see last sort column. Uh, what more columns do we have here? 
yeah, details view column widths. This is important because this stores the, the size of the columns. Uh, and here column order that stores which columns are visible or the order of the column. It looks like it have all, yeah, all the columns are in this list, but the, the order here is important, I, I guess. Ah, here, uh, and we also have visible columns, so the, those are two. And here we can see fixed view, fixed columns, I guess that's the sizing here. Right now, uh, visible columns, tuner, date modified, name, size. Uh, I think it looks like the, the, these settings might be the old ones, because this is how I have done this. If I exit Thunar here, or what we really should do is do a Thunar-Q. This will kill, uh, if you're running Thunar as a daemon, it will close the daemon, Thunar daemon process. And that's a good thing to do here. Uh, we can close this guy now. Also, do th just execute Thunar normally here. And we get this. And we can open up Sublime file again here now. Let's change the sidebar. <coughs> because we want to determine here the, the, the column widths and have a, have a fixed uh, width for them. So it, it, it doesn't automatically, because it always does this, it changes the width and somehow. We like the name column. And now you can see the window is as wide as my, th this is like my standard sidebar uh, width. So let's try to adapt these columns uh, to that. Make this date column really small. Uh, let's open some directory with maybe a little bit longer. Uh, let's see if we can go into vid. Why, here are some YouTube videos. Maybe hide the size column, but have it available if, if we need to see it and sort by it. It's very seldom, I, but sometimes I want to see the size and sort by it, but, but this is kind of nice, you know, you know. Now we can see the full date and the name column. I think these sizes are, are good. But if, if you would like to, you could make it like this. So, so you don't get the horizontal scroll bar, or even remove the size column here. It, it it's, uh, or maybe keep it like this. This is fine also because I don't need to see the full uh, file name either. This is a good size. So now, when we don't have a Thunar uh, uh, daemon running, this is the only Thunar window. When I close this now, it should update this file. I think uh, with with our new column widths and stuff here. Yes, you saw it changed here. And these, we save these. Somewhere, we can save them in our notes. Just to save. There is our column widths. Um, we could also save visible columns and column orders here. We are sure that setting also will work because then we could enable new columns uh, temporarily and, and but they will would only be visible like temporarily. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. And now we open our launch FM script here. Which uh, in which we we actually set some of these rules, if I'm not mistaken. It's it's so long since I saw it, since we did this. Yeah, launch Thunar. Um, determine which container to execute. Depending on the rule, we send this xconf query stuff here. With the uh, yeah the the th icon view or details view. We can send the xconf query with this uh, uh, column information as well. 
uh, but that that should be the same well basically it's it's only in in details view but we could send it no matter which view, view it is this is like global default new window things so let's cut these add them here like this then we take this xconf query thunar property like this we can replace these guys i guess that and then we have create type right, let's do this all of them are string values and then set not sure here now if I need or I don't think I need the quotes since there are no spaces in in these strings Let, let's do it without quotes that and then yeah Nice, really short and easy, smooth string. So, god damn, it's like column 300. Were they thinking? Okay, um, and now we should be able to use our. We, we can test this. We open Thunar, or now I open it with, with this Lord's FM. That wasn't my plan. Let's open it with, with from the command line. Tuner. can display this in list view now let's add some some columns here stupid owner close we can change the size to be something insane like th th this is how Thuner likes it sometimes you, you know you get a name column that is like this big and then to sort by date you have to it's so stupid now you say have this we can close this window can open it again with the normal Thuna command and it should have the same stupid uh, column sizes here. But if we open it with our launch FM, don't remember here now, if I just hit launch FM, will it open it normally just in there? I don't know why it printed these. Maybe it didn't work. Control two. No, it doesn't look like it worked right. Close. Ah, have here set. Okay, let's try it again. There, it opens the window, change the details view. And there, we have our nice size. And this will always be remembered if I've uh, changed the size or anything here. And now, of course, if I open a new, uh, another directory, it will not change the size. We could add this so it, uh, to, to the auto layout also, so it always adjusts the, the column width. But that may or may not be, be desirable. But uh, whenever I close the window, open it again, we, we will have... Uh... Ah, now I also need to start the Thunar IPC start here. There we can see we have the good sized columns. We don't even have the horizontal scroll bar here. So excellent, very nice. I think we can do this. And let's take the sort order rules in uh, the next video here. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.